So hear what I'm saying, lads, yeah, lad and ladets, yeah. Mugabe is the only king of Zimbabwe. What the? Hear what I'm saying, guys. The hands are all right. Zimbabwe. Very unexpected. Guys, so all right. Why blood clot? Ah, so boom bang. Today. I'm going to talk about a little bit about a trading journal. Like, first thing in trading is you've got to have a trading plan. Yeah? So you've got to have a strict set of rules that allow you to take a trade. Do you understand? So you don't just jump in any trade willy nilly, any, anything that pops out, you just get involved. You understand? You've got to have rules and, and reasons why you're taking the trades, and you've got to stick to that. So if you're if you're trading out of your plan, then you're just doing garbage, you know, you're just planning to get slapped. And the market will slap you, I've told you. So the main reason for you to make a trading journal and to keep a trading journal is for you to know what you're best at and what you're weakest at. So that you can focus on doing what you're best at and cutting out what you're weakest at. Alright? So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the link below a link to download a free template. It's not mine, it's someone else's. So big up whoever that is. Um, it's a free template for a trading journal. So you can go <clears throat> onto the website, download that, and now implement that into your trading and find out where your strongest points are and where your weakest points are. And then what you want to do is comment and let me know where you think your weakest points are and where your strongest points are. And then in a week or two, Comment where you think your strongest points are and where your weakest points are and see if your if your views have changed. 